Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you once again to World Dairy Expo, the largest dairy cattle exhibition and trade show in the world with over 800 commercial exhibits and more than 65,000 attendees. You will see over 2,500 dairy cattle compete on these colored shavings in the week ahead. I would like to take a few minutes to recognize our show ring sponsors, Holstein Association USA, CMEX, and Transova Genetics. Their support helps to pay for everything from the colored shavings to the eye-catching display and cleanup help. You can say thanks to Holstein Association USA at booth 29 and to Transova at booth 144, both in the Coliseum. The CMEX booth is located at 2608 in the Exhibition Hall. I'd also like to say a special thank you to the man providing the music for us today. Mr. Mike Ashworth from Wanakee, Wisconsin. Over the course of the week, Mike stays ringside to provide music as the best dairy cattle in the world compete on the colored shavings. We are honored as this year marks the 33rd year that Mike has been with us. Thank you so much, Mike. Let's give him a round of applause. Judge Trapp has completed his placings in the spring yearling heifer class of the Melking Shorthorn Show. There were 19 animals exhibited. Would our junior exhibitors please take a step forward? Second place, junior exhibitor, entry 2280, GMC Logic Payton, shown by Brooke Clark of Cornish Flat, New Hampshire. In third place, entry 2278 and the first junior owned animal, Landsbrook Chippewa, shown by Monica Landsgard of Landsbrook Farms, St. Olaf, Iowa. In second place, entry 2270, Purple Ida Lee RR Ziva EXPET, shown by Susan Lee and Michelle Upchurch of Tillamook, Oregon. Winning the class and the first Brennan owned, entry 2269, Mapleton Valley Alad Zena, shown by Mapleton Valley Farms of Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Congratulations. And now, Judge Trapp. Well, a really nice group of spring yearlings out here. Uh, when they came into our group, uh, you just love this first heifer. She's straight as a string and extremely balanced. And I told Peter, I says, uh, this heifer is extremely fluid for me. She's straight in her line. She's extremely well balanced and probably one of the best foot and leg heifers we've seen all day. For me, I just like this heifer. She's got more extension at the top of her shoulder. Her neck comes out a little bit nicer. She's a little bit cleaner, more of a modern heifer for me. And when we get to her rear feet and legs, handles them so much nicer on those rear feet and legs than a heifer in second. She's cleaner boned about her hock. She tracks it a little more width of the hock than the big heifer that's coming out in second. The second heifer, you love the straightness of lines and the uh, depth of rib that this heifer has, is, and it is her depth of rib or spring and sweep to her rear rib that take her over another straight line heifer with a wide rump coming out in third. 
The third heifer uses her strength of loin and a little bit more of maturity, being a more of a full age heifer than her April heifer that's coming out and forth. The heifer in thirds a freckle longer and leaner in her neck, a whisker cleaner all the way through than this nice made April heifer that's coming out and forth that's probably going to make a really nice cow someday. This heifer in fourth uses her correctness of rump. She's more nearly level from hips to pins, a little bit uh, wider in her pins uh, than the heifer that's coming out in fifth. And then fifth over sixth, the fifth heifer is just a little bit more of an uphill run, a little sharper over her shoulder, a little bit more width of rump uh, than another balanced heifer that's coming out in sixth. Congratulations to our exhibitors.